Hey, what's on the menu? The meals that I'm eating tonight were some people's last. Bad people. Evil people. When people are really bad, they go to a place called prison. And if they're really bad, so bad that not even enough spankings will solve the problem, they have to be put to death. And that's a punishment that I don't really understand. If someone's being a very bad boy, I think they should just rot in prison. Hey, that's, that's the easy way out, man. But yes, in some states, people get put to death. And they do it with a lethal injection. The chemicals in the injection make your heart stop. And it's not painless. 90% of people feel it. A ton of people's last words are, It's burning. The first method was hanging, and I think they use electric chairs still in one state. Never mind, I, I just looked it up. You could get deep fried in Alabama, Florida, South Carolina, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Virginia. So I guess country people just really f with the electric chair. When they do it, they shave your head and legs, they shock you once, that makes you unconscious. And then the second one stops your organs. But hey, I think they'd be a lot more miserable just staying in jail for the rest of their lives. But no, the country people are like, electrocute them. Think about the anxiety when you know that you're about to be put to death, but I bet some people are cool with it I'd probably be so anxious that I wouldn't even know what I want to eat I wouldn't even eat so I don't know if I could even enjoy the last meal But everyone gets one last meal of their choice whatever they want So what did some of the most notorious killers choose bacon goldfish a baby? I'm gonna be eating their meals and of course I gotta tell you about who they are. Let's do it. John Wayne Gacy was a birthday clown. He always appeared as a great friendly neighborhood fella. At an event he went to, he got an S pen, which stood for special clearance, meaning hey, this is a guy that you can trust. He's even in a picture with the first lady. Little did the world know, he had 33 boys and young men stuffed in a crawl space at his house and a few others in a nearby river. His creepy paintings he made in prison are infamous, selling for up to $20,000. Gacy was given the lethal injection. This right here was John Wayne Gacy's last meal before he was put to death. He asked for 12 fried shrimp, french fries, a pound of strawberries, and Kentucky fried chicken. This is definitely the biggest meal on the list. He was a big boy though. I just wonder if he ate it all. The bucket of KFC would have killed him alone. Mmm. Mm. Damn. Oh my god, why is it so sour? I'm getting whiter by the day. Have you ever thought about murderers' last words? Because I mean, everyone has their last words. John Wayne Gacy's was, kiss my ass. I'd say the same thing if someone was trying to murder me. Damn, he definitely finished the meal, because I'm looking at it right now, like I can finish this. Roll me up a fat doobie and I'll finish this in 30 minutes. John Wayne Gacy most likely ordered KFC because he worked at three KFCs as a manager. That's what's scary. These people are among us. It could be anyone. Uh, what's the next meal? Timothy McVeigh was responsible for the Oklahoma City bombing that killed 168 people. His motive was revenge against the government for the Sage at Waco, which was a weeks long standoff against the government and a religious group. He was a former US Army soldier, which isn't surprising because most mass killers were cops in the military, neighborhood watch, anything that gives them authority. That's why sometimes I don't trust the popo. He was given the lethal injection on June 11th which is also my birthday. Timothy McVeigh's last meal was two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream. My favorite. I love mint chocolate chip ice cream. And to the people that say it tastes like toothpaste, suck a nut. Timothy didn't have any last words. He used a poem as his last words. I just broke my spoon. The poem is called Invictus. I'm not going to read the whole poem, but it ends with, I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the captain now. He was said to be very calm on his last day, like he was ready to die. Survivors of his crime and others got to watch his execution through a window. That's so odd. That is so weird. I love ice cream. Maybe it's for a sense of comfort. Okay, I'm ready for the next meal. Victor Fager kidnapped and killed a doctor chosen at random from the Yellow Pages. Authorities believe that Fager had kidnapped and killed the doctor in order to gain access to any drugs that the doctor may have carried to treat patients. He was executed by hanging. Victor Fager asked for one single olive with the pit still in it. Victor told the guards he hoped an olive tree would sprout from his grave as a sign of peace. That's like, that's pretty adorable, I'm not gonna lie. But, I mean, he was a murderer though, so. <sighs> Oh, I don't know if I can eat this. I hate olives. Ugh, I don't know how anyone li- Eh! Ew, ew! It smells like wine and piss. Mm. 
Why is it sour? After Victor was pronounced dead, authorities found the pit of the olive in his suit pocket. James Edward Smith was a former priest who killed a man during a robbery with a fatal shot to the chest. In 1990, he was executed in Texas by lethal injection. Girl, put your records on. Sorry, that's stuck in my head. James Edward Smith's last meal was, oh wait, it was a lump of dirt, which of course was denied. So he settled, for yogurt. James wanted to use the voodoo dirt for a ritual. That in which... I forgot. I hate yogurt. I'd, pro I'd probably rather eat the dirt. The dirt would be used to mark a person's body so that the spirit can move on and not be a ghost. So I guess the guards were like, no James, you can't have dirt for that, so here's some yogurt. And he said, okay. There also is a list of foods that are approved for the last meal. So if it's not on the list, you can't get it. I personally think that they should be able to get whatever they want. If the man wants some dirt, just give him the dirt. It's literally his dying wish. His last words were Hari Krishna. Which I guess that was his beliefs. I don't really know much about it, but I guess chanting it is a very powerful good thing. Velma Barfield was an American serial killer who was convicted of one murder but eventually confessed to six. The police got an anonymous tip that there was rat poison in the victim's bodies. They checked all people connected to Velma and she had the same rat poison in her house. She was the first woman to be executed by lethal injection. Velma's last meal was the same as the 7th grader that plays Fortnite. Cheetos and a can of Coca-Cola. Why did I buy Dr. Pepper? I wonder if she got executed with Cheeto fingers. Like did she did she suck her did she suck it off? In prison, she became a hardcore Christian. It's what a lot of prisoners do. Think about it. You get out of prison, you try to get a job, ooh, convicted felon. No sir. Oh wait, convicted felon born again Christian. You're getting the job, buddy. Jesus saves. Her last words were, I know that everyone has gone through a lot of pain. All of the families connected, and I am sorry. And I want to thank everyone who has been supporting me all of these six years. Get this, she was buried next to her first husband. If I was that dude in that grave and I know what she did to me, I'd, I'd be like, get this bitch away from me. Like, he did not consent to her being buried right next to him. That's probably what she said. <laughs> that was a great meal. Thank you, Velma. Angel Diaz was convicted of shooting and killing the manager of a strip club. His girlfriend at the time told the police that he was involved. For Angel's last meal, he requested nothing. Since nothing is not approved on the menu, he was served a normal prison meal. He believed down to his last words that he was innocent. His last statement was, the state of Florida is killing an innocent person. The state of Florida is committing a crime because I am innocent. The death penalty is not only a form of vengeance, but also a cowardly act by humans. I am sorry for what is happening to me and to my family for being put through this. I mean, I didn't know the guy personally, but you know, he, I'm convinced. You never know. I mean, you never know, and that's why the death penalty should not exist. 4% of people on the death penalty are innocent, and even 1% is too much. I believe that alone should make the death penalty illegal. If this guy was innocent, I'm, well, I mean, he's dead now. But that's not even the worst part. Angel needed an additional dose of drugs to be executed. That's how you know he was innocent. Jesus was like, hey, it's not his time, man. It's not his time. The whole process took 34 minutes, when usually it only takes seven. The family declared it a boxed execution. Let's go to the next one. I actually, you know, want food. Philip Ray Workman was convicted for the murder of a police officer following a robbery of a Wendy's restaurant. He was sentenced to death by lethal injection. Who robs a Wendy's? Philip Ray Workman asked for nothing but a vegetarian pizza. Yes, it's, it's frozen. <laughs> I think the oven's broken. <laughs> so Philip ordered a large vegetarian pizza because he wanted the guards to give it to a homeless person. Damn. Wow. These killers got me emotional, man. That is so sweet. I mean, he's also a murderer, but like, that is, that is so sweet. The guards denied it though. I don't understand why. Like this is, that is literally a dying man's wish. Just, just give a homeless person a pizza. If I was that guard, I would go home and I would give a homeless man a pizza on my free time. The good thing though is once the world found out about his request, veggie pizzas were given to homeless people across the entire country. For convicting a terrible crime, that's a pretty nice way to go out. Let's end the video right there on that sweet note. I hope you enjoyed a lot of this information that was brought to you in this video. Now, you know more about murders, the death penalty, and yummy foods. Oh, and by the way, if you were facing the death penalty, what would your last meal be? Comment down below.